guys. Um, it's Taylor. Um, I decided that I wasn't going to wait for myself to get ready to make videos anymore. Because I am so far behind on everything that I wanted to post. Um, and he's almost here. I am 36 weeks and three days. I have a doctor's appointment in about a half hour. Um, but I live literally a mile from the hospital. That's where I go. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do a video today. Um, what's in his diaper bag? And this is just the things that I have packed for the hospital. It's obviously going to change after he's born. Sorry, I just had chips and salsa and it was like really hot. But, um, yeah, so... I'm in his nursery. I can't wait to do a nursery tour. Um, honestly, I can't wait to spend time in here, like more time. But anyway, let's just get into it. So, this is the diaper bag that I have. Um, it's from Toys R Us. I got it from my baby shower, but it's the one I registered for. Um, I really wanted one that was kind of like, that, you know, Rob, my boyfriend, his dad, can um, not feel embarrassed <laughs> carrying around. And also the backpack type, because if I'm alone with him and I have to carry his car seat, um, it's not going to be like, I got it over my shoulder, you know. I'm a small person, so <laughs> that'd be a little difficult. But, um, so yeah. This is the front. This is the back. The back has clips that you can clip onto the stroller. And then two straps, and it's like a mesh type of material. Um, on this clip, I got, I got, I have <laughs> Munchkin. Um, like little diaper bags and then I have a hand sanitizer that might come off I don't know I just stuck it on there and then the one side is a wipe dispenser let me see if I can this side yeah so I just have some a trial size of honest wipes I think I just stuck those in there didn't really care if they got dry or anything I just stuck them in there and then it has a pocket on this side for um, a bottle, but obviously I don't think I'll be needing, I'm trying to breastfeed, so I hopefully won't need to use that too much, um, but I am going to pump too, that way Rob can help me feed. Um, okay, and then there is two zipper pockets over here. Let me see what I got in there. Okay, on this side, I have Lysol to go. It was just something I picked up. And I have some Desitin Rapid Relief. Because you never know. That's all on that side. This other side, I have a first aid kit. And I think that's it. Yeah. I know I'm going to end up doubling this as, like, my bag. Because I'm not going to want to carry my purse and backpack and car seat. It's going to be too much. Um, and then it has a little top part that doesn't go very deep. It's for a pacifier. And I just have his... A Wubba Nub. Kind of like weighs it down a little bit. That way, you know, it's easier for him to, whatever. And it's a little elephant. His room is elephants, in case you didn't know. And then it's got this open pocket right in the front. And I just stuck a little trial free sample, uh, two nursing pads and two breast milk storage bags. Now I'm going to go into the big part. Okay. First of 
first thing that I pull out is the little changing mat that came with the uh, diaper bag. And then I pull out this little snappy carrying pacifier thing and I have a little passy sterilized already. Um, yeah. And then I have the little kit that he's got the uh, like grooming kit and I just have everything in there. Um, I also got a thermometer, a different thermometer. It came with this one but I registered for this one. This one works really fast and really good. Um, I also have a Instatemp one where it just goes across their head but I'm not bringing that because I'm guessing if he needs his temperature checked they'll do it there with their stuff. I just wanted to bring this just in case I don't know. So that's that. And then I have a little gown. My mom said these are like essential for when they're at night or in the hospital because you can just pull this up instead of having to undo things. I don't really know if I'm going to bring him home in this. I doubt it because I have an outfit that I bought for him to come home in. Everything's washed though. And then I have a thicker like blanket. It's not a receiving blanket. It's just a thicker blanket because um, I don't know. Hospitals are cold. I know they'll have plenty of stuff but can't hurt. So that's that. And then I have one receiving blanket, a bib. This is one of the ones that are bandana and it snaps. I wanted to bring the ones that snap versus the one that velcros just because the little velcro I feel like is going to rub on his neck. I don't know. And then I have my nursing cover. It's just a tube looking thing. It's pretty thin too, because it's hot. Obviously it's August, or it's August. It's <laughs> June. Then I have a burp cloth. And some mittens, a pair of socks, another bib because it's smaller. Just in case he's like five pounds, <laughs> uh, this this will fit him. Then I have his coming home outfit, and it's these little Jordan booties with this Jordan hat and this little Jordan's onesie. I washed it and it got fuzzies all over it. I was so upset. And then my boyfriend was able to get them off. Rob was able to get them off. But um, I don't know how small he's gonna be. I feel like he'll be swimming in this. So he needs to wear the gown home. I'm not gonna be like too picky. But if I want some pictures, I'll put this outfit on him. Um. Then I have this Huggies Wipes travel case. I'm going to end up giving it to my mom after, um, but for now, I'm going to use that. Just because I don't want to have like I don't know, a big package in there. And then I have a ton of newborn diapers. I know he's going to fit them. I know, I mean, I doubt he's going to be like... I think newborns go up to 10 pounds. I doubt he's going to be more than 
seven, but we'll see. Got a bunch, and then there's like side pockets. Um, oh, and stuff. I have some of the side pockets, so I have plenty. Um, I know they supply you with them there. Um, the only thing they don't supply is pacifiers and the little hats. So that's why he's got a hat because they really promote skin to skin at the hospital I'm delivering at. And in order for that, they said they don't supply hats anymore. They don't have a nursery there either. So the baby's with you 24 seven, which is awesome. The baby's gonna be with you 24 seven, so. Um, yep, and it all fits in here nicely. I love this diaper bag. I know it's going to be such a good thing. Oh, these I meant to stick in there. They're like pacifier wipes or for toys or whatever, you know, like safely cleans pacifiers, bottles, cups, and teething toys. Alcohol free, perfect for on the go. So I just got those, I believe, from my uncle. So, yep. That's what's in his diaper bag. Um, I can post a video of my hospital bag, which is what I'm packing for me and for Rob. But yeah, that's his diaper bag. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to uh, like it. Thumbs it up, whatever you want to do. Subscribe, let me know if you guys want to see anything else. I'll be doing a nursery tour. Um, yeah, anything else that I think I would need, they would have there. I know I'm bringing probably way too much, but I mean, it's just what's in this thing. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>